Stay tuned as we take a look at this Marvel Legends Night Thrasher from the Kingpin Builder Figure Wave. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. Today we are taking a look at this Marvel Legends Night Thrasher from the Kingpin Builder Figure Wave, of course. And really like this character design, as simple as it is. He even has a skateboard. And again, it's another new character I am yet to have in the collection. So always happy to add new characters. So Without further ado, there we have an image from the comic it's on the side. We get a little write up on the back, a product shot, and then as always, you get a list of all the figures in this wave. You need to complete the Kingpin Builder figure. Today, we're reviewing Night Thrasher. So, this is the last figure I'm reviewing in this Kingpin Builder figure wave before we build Kingpin himself. And uh, yeah, this one I was excited to get. So, without further ado, let's get him open. And here we have Dwayne Taylor, AKA Night Thrasher out of the box. This is how he comes out of the box. I'll get into his accessories in a moment. I just wanted to quickly have a glance at him. He's made of a very shiny black plastic and there's definitely some reuse on there. And I know it's a simple character design, but I still really like it. Uh, he's got the same belt there as Puma. Um, I like the face group and I'll show you that in detail in a minute. But uh, yeah, he's known for building his own battle suits and this is very much a battle suit. You can see it's all put together with his knee pads and shoulder pads and uh, elbow pads and whatnot. But um, yeah, looking good. So first, let me just mention, he comes with a Builder Figure piece for Kingpin, of course, part of this Kingpin Builder Figure wave, another one of his legs. So this is the last figure I'm reviewing from this wave before I review Kingpin. So you know what to do, go and check out the videos tab and hit that subscribe button as I will be reviewing Kingpin next. Now moving on to the pieces that he comes with, he comes with some Billy Cubs, a skateboard that seems to actually roll as well, which is pretty good. And then also this back piece. So on the back of the figure, again, if I just zoom in a minute, you'll see he's got two peg holes there. This piece has two little plugs there. So I'm assuming it goes that way around or that way around. I'm gonna say this way around. And this even has a little bit of, um, Battle damage, it seems. So let me just try and press that in there without breaking it. Okay. So a little bit of force, and that seems to go in okay. And again, I don't know if you can see in the, the lighting, but there's like little chips away, which I'm guessing is battle damage. So this is where the skateboard can go. And it slides in there nice, snugly. And as you can see on the back of that skateboard as well, there's lots of uh, damage and use. Definitely seen better days at skateboard. But annoyingly enough, I don't know if you've noticed, there, because it has to go in there, the skateboard doesn't have any peg holes. So if you want to get him to stand on the skateboard, it's all about balance because you're not going to be able to plug him on there, which is very frustrating because he's not going to stay on there long as he's going to fall off. So I'm going to have to display mine with this skateboard attached to this backpack. There's also two clips here either side for the biddy clubs. Now these biddy clubs we've seen with many a daredevil before, so we know what they are. They attach together and they also separate on there. So that is his back back apparatus and it's looking pretty good. So zoom back out and it gives him a bit of weight on the back, but he has no issues standing. And again, simple character design, but that red definitely stands out against the black and it is looking very nice. So let me zoom in and show you that face sculpt. And there we have a closer look at the head sculpt with those eyes nicely sculpted behind the mask course Dwayne Taylor he builds his own battle suit so he has had different looking costumes in the comics but this is I think is his first uh, main costume when he joined the new warriors he founded the new warriors and yeah these are all sculpted on these red pieces and it seems to be a bit of battle damage even in the mask there you can see in the helmet there's a few dents there's not much more battle damage throughout the figure as I said it's quite glossy I've got a bit of gappage as well in my leg there which is a little bit annoying maybe I can sort that out the belt is the same belt as Puma. Again, shoulder knee pads, elbow pads and all of that. You can see they're bolted in. I believe they're the same as Taskmaster, but I could be wrong. And then this piece is a separate piece. It will come off if you wanted to slide it all the way off, but I don't want it to stay in place. But yeah, night fresher. Now, as I've previously mentioned, Knight Thrasher was the founder of the New Warriors, but he has his own little story to tell, and I shall tell it 
in this segment I like to call Night Thrasher. Who is he? This is the part of the video where we ask the question, who is he? And I try and give you a little bit of information about the character this figure is inspired by. So, Night Thrasher, who is he? Real name Dwayne Taylor is fueled by vengeance after witnessing his parents being murdered as a child. His desire for revenge and justice drove him to be a fighting machine and to punish all wrongdoers. His first appearance was in 4, 411 in December of 1989. Mainly a street level vigilante, he is most known for leading the new warriors. He is also known for an excellent fighting ability and well designed armoured battle suits. Dwayne has no superhuman abilities but does seem to be naturally immune to telepathic probes. He has an array of weapons including a high tech skateboard. There you go, so I hope that helped. Again, I do not claim to be an expert, but it is nice to have a little bit of information about the characters these figures are inspired by. And here I have Night Thrasher balancing on his skateboard. And again, I like that it's a working skateboard. I like that you can see he's been grinding all day on that thing, but it's a shame that it doesn't plug into the feet. It's all about balance. And also, I didn't show off these biddy clubs, but I plugged them in as you do, plugged in at the middle. Again, if you've got a Daredevil figure, you know how they work. Mine are a little bit warped out of packaging, but... um. I like those type of weapons for a street level vigilante. And uh, again, this guy reminds me of uh, Wild Dog from DC in the recent Arrow TV show. But um, yeah, he's looking nice. Now, as I said, he is a founding member of the New Warriors. And we don't really have many New Warrior figures in Hasbro Marvel Legend form. Hope we get a Firestar soon, maybe a um, Speedball. But I do have the Richard Ryder uh, Nova and of course Kid Nova as well. So, yeah, Nova, I think both versions of Nova were part of the New Warriors at some point. But I think Richard Ryder is the more accurate guy to go with Dwayne. All black, everything, as here we have him compared to two other figures from this Kingpin wave, including the updated Symbiote Spider-Man and, of course, Black Cat. And again, he's looking really nice. Going to stand out in your display. I always like those street level characters that don't really have magical superpowers but can still hold their own. And this guy, he just builds suits and he beats people up, which I quite like. So you let me know what you think of Night Thrasher in the comments below. You know I'm always happy to get new characters to the collection that I am yet to have. And uh, Night Thrasher definitely didn't have him before. So I'm going to put his backpack back on. His skateboard in his backpack even. And uh, yeah tell you guys to make sure you go and check out the rest of the videos in my videos tab as always as the next review I'm going to do is going to be Kingpin. So I have reviewed every other figure in this wave so far so go and check them out and as always please 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 hit that subscribe button. Until then people my name is Dan W and I shall see you on the next one.